I have had the privilege of serving in three different ed higher education institutions. In each one of those, three relationships come up right off top of mind. The president, I think it's very important uh, that you need to understand what that person's goals and missions and aspirations are. Uh, if you're not doing things in support of that, you're not gonna really be successful as a, as a leader in that institution. Then two others, I think, that have a lot of responsibility and a lot of purview at the institution are your provost and your chief business officer. So I really try to cultivate relationship with those three, first and foremost. Then from there, I move to the uh, next echelon, I would say, and that'd be the rest of the cabinet members at the institution, other VPs and other deans, because they have a sphere of influence as a programmatic leader, right? Then after that, trying to seek out those informal leaders, and there are many of them around the institution, um, predominantly in the faculty or other ranks in the staff, and find out what's going on there. So there's actually the formal leadership of relationships I want to cultivate, and then those informal, those informal leaders that not, they don't have the titles that would say that they're leaders, but people gravitate to them and they're what they're saying and what they want to do. So it's important for me to connect with those folks as well.